What's up, fellow rooters? I'm Joshua Thomas. First things up, Churiscaria from our Kickstarter monthly last month has funded successfully. Awesome. And now the rest of these games for this month kind of have to do with artwork. Or, well, you, you'll get the idea. You see, artwork is oftentimes the first thing that people are going to see or know about a game, and, well, the artwork can make or break a game, and all the Kickstarters that I'm going to talk about today kind of influenced me with their artwork to begin with. Take, for instance, Space Cats Fight Fascism, the board game. Not gonna lie, I the artwork didn't entice me, but as I was looking for our Kickstarter Game of the Month, I thought, you know what, I gotta go see what this fascist fighting kit, kittens, cats, are about. And so I went and looked at it, and past its seeing past its artwork and the very simple art on the box, it actually looked like an interesting game. I think uh, the people who created this uh, put a decent amount of thought into it, and from what it looks like, it's going to be an interesting game. Uh, the names of these planets that these cats are fighting fascism on are kind of funny, like Cold Bath and Catnip. Uh, scratching Post, these are the names of the planets. So that's very funny. And our Kickstarter game of the month that caught my eye, well, it caught my eye because of the campaign that was next to it on the search page on Kickstarter, and that's because, well, some campaigns on Kickstarter look like they ripped a board right out from the 1960s with just that bland neon colors and linear tracks and yeah, people really need to do their research before putting a game on Kickstarter. But right next to it was Castle Von Logan, very modern looking, very interesting, intriguing artwork. And so I went and checked it out and I really, really enjoyed it. In fact, from the very top where it said, a unique time-traveling competitive co-op dungeon adventure with deep original stories, morphing game boards, and diceless combat. They had me from time travel. So, Castle Von Logan is a co-op game in which you are all time travelers. There's some more look at the stuff. We're going to take a closer look here in a second. But there are three different time periods that your board will take place in, and the board changes based on that. You've got the past, the future, and the wasteland anomaly. So, let's take a closer look at Castle Von Logan. There is a beautiful look at the past board game. Uh, a little bit of it is set up, but you and your friends actually have a single token that you move through this mansion with, and you will investigate each room that has a question mark, you'll have <laughs> encounters with enemies, and you're going to have to use your skills to survive. Here's uh, an example of one of the characters here. You've got um, special abilities that the character can have, you've got combat abilities, uh, very nice looking character cards. You've got the weapons that will be in your hand, on your back, and then over here you've got your backpack. You've got energy that you can utilize for different abilities. You've got treasure for the kind of competitive mode where whoever gets the most treasure uh, wins. But you're also going to notice that you don't have any health on your card. Even though there's regain 2 HP or negate up to 2 HP loss at any time. So where is your HP? Well, you and your fellow companions share a communal HP. You get 15 HP and then you've also got clarity because time travel has side effects and so the lower your clarity gets, well, if it gets all the way to zero, then you start losing HP. There are other ways to lose HP as well. But certain abilities require you to have a certain amount of clarity and it might even force you to use clarity. So 
this negate up to 2 HP uh, loss for Kara, or Kara, however you pronounce that, uh, you have to have more than 5 clarity, and it's going to cost you 4 energy over here uh, in order to be able to use it. You're going to get combat cards, so your combat is used by deck. You've got treasure cards based on, look at all that treasure, based on what scenario you happen to be in, and the encounter cards are very, very interesting as every character in the game, every player, gets to choose their own outcome for each encounter, either A, B, C, or D, and on the back of the card, I'm not going to show it just so as not to spoil anything for you, is going to be the answer. So each person can choose, in this case, ask him if anything is wrong, ask him about the scientists, enter through the gates, or refuse to follow and stay put. Now the great thing about this is when each person chooses which option they want, A, B, C, or D, if everybody chooses something different, that option happens to them no matter what. But likewise, if everyone, say, chooses the same option, we'll say it's option C, and option C ends up making you lose one HP, well, if you've got three players and they all chose that option, then the party loses three HP. So this is a very interesting game. Uh, reading some of the encounter cards, the stories are very well written, the scenarios. I can't wait to play it. In fact, we're going to uh, be speaking with Paul, one of the creators of the game, and we are actually going to play it on Tabletopia with him. So be sure and check out Castle Von Logan, or Lohan, or I'm not sure exactly how it's pronounced. We'll be sure and ask Paul. But uh, be sure and check that out on Tabletopia. Check out the Kickstarter campaign so that they can make this game a reality. It is loaded with tons of treasure, tons of encounters, more encounters than you could possibly have in one round of the game. So the replay is going to be there. It's going to have amazing story elements, I imagine, similar to, say, uh, Eldritch Horror or um, Arkham Horror. And there's just going to be so many interesting choices to make whether you want to kind of go against the party's wishes or whether you've got to figure out a way to heal your party from the brink of death and of course you've got to investigate what's going on in three separate timelines so like i said link to the campaign is going to be at the end of this video hope you will check it out and be sure and check out more of our kickstarter videos our board game videos and everything else we have to offer on the Fell Road Express. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.